Hello guys, welcome back to TSBEC TV. It's been a long time since we've done any mods to my Defender TD5, but today we're going to be installing something that I've been holding on to since November. So I'm sure many of you know that I had my car stage two remapped last summer by Storm Tuning. Now, although a performance intercooler is not a requirement for a stage two remap, of course it doesn't hurt to have it. So back in November when we worked with Tough Rock on our TSPEC TV mud flaps, I also acquired this Cirque Motorsport performance intercooler from Tough Rock. The reason I've gone with Cirque as a brand is simply because that is what Daniel from Storm Tuning recommended. Of course, there are plenty of other brands you can go with. Um, but basically what a performance intercooler is going to do, or what an uh, intercooler is going to do, is take the hot compressed air from a turbocharger or supercharger and turn it into cold air, basically. Um, but by having a bigger intercooler, we can cool that air more effectively, and by turning it from hot air to cold air, it becomes more dense, and therefore we can get more of it into the engine, and it feeds back into the intake, and more air means more power. So you can kind of see the size difference already in the new and old intercooler. This one is much thicker as well. But at the moment it is slightly too wide <laughs> to get through there. What we're thinking about doing now is taking this uh, kind of front panel off and then we should be able to squeeze it in hopefully. So a little status update for you, we've taken the front uh, grille sort of panel off and we've gotten this panel off as well and then I'm now taking off the struts, I've already got one of them off, that's pretty simple actually, I'm just undoing that piece there and then we undid them at the bottom and then to get that front bodywork piece off there was just uh, two bolts in here and then one at the top on each side for that piece and now this is what I'm doing the intercooler I presume. Yeah. Everything's going surprisingly smooth so far, and it's quite funny seeing the front end of my Defender completely, well, not there, <laughs> like this. Um, but yeah, we got those struts off, and Nissa is now just stripping the surface rust off of those with a wire brush, which I'm weirdly excited about, because I've seen pictures of Defenders where those are sort of painted and clean, and for some reason they look quite mean when you look through the grill, and mine look pretty horrible. Uh, luckily it just seems like surface rust, like I said, so it uh, should just be pretty easy to clean up, and then we can give it a layer of paint, hopefully, and uh, then we have a big shiny intercooler, big black struts, it should look pretty beefy. <laughs> So while we've got all of this out, it's a good opportunity to clean out the radiator behind with some compressed air. Just be sure that you don't go too hard because you can damage the fins. But especially with the dry weather we've been having, you can clean out all the dust that is in there. Now that the old intercooler is out, we can really start to see the size difference between the two of them. Especially in the thickness right there. <laughs> I think this is probably going to make quite a bit of a difference. When you're working in an old Land Rover, there's always that fear that even though it's supposed to be one size fits all and all defenders are supposed to be the same and blah blah blah, that things won't fit, especially when you're fitting something so big in such a tight space. However, it looks like everything is lining up perfectly. It is in and hoses are connected, now it's just a matter of putting it all back together again. So I am now going to give those struts a fresh layer of paint and while I'm doing that on an unrelated note Nissa is actually going to get the 101 out because we are hopefully going to be filming a separate video with that this afternoon in fact I can just hear him starting it up now and I think he's going to go and change the oil on the gearbox but for now I'm going to get on with painting these struts. There we have it, we've just spent the last half an hour putting everything back together and we resprayed the struts as well and you can see the new intercooler actually fills the hole so maybe it was uh, meant to be like that all along. That was one of those mods that went too well 
I mm. think so far. Way too but then well. at the end, off camera, we did actually have a bit of an issue with the bonnet. It wouldn't close because I think we mucked up the alignment when we took everything apart for the, the latch. And uh, we sorted that now. So I think the car just wanted something to go wrong. <laughs> but we fixed that. Everything in terms of the intercooler is fine. It's back in. We painted the struts. It looks awesome. You can see it right there filling up the entire uh, intake hole, if you like. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see whether I actually get a noticeable performance gain, because obviously we've already got the Stage 2 remap. So that's already such a huge jump in performance from the stock version that I don't know whether the intercooler is going to make a noticeable difference beyond that. Um, but it should, of course, at least help the uh, all the power of the remap to run a bit more smoothly, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, we'll take it from there and see what it's like on a test drive. Ba -ba. <laughs> So although for you this will just seem like the next minute, we've actually jumped ahead quite a few hours because after we filmed that previous scene, Nissa and I went out and filmed a, another video with the 101, as you know we've been working on that. And I'm on my way home now, but of course I haven't driven the car um, properly with the new intercooler, so I'm now going to kind of give my first impression, see if it actually makes a difference. Um, the issue being, like I said, it's already had a stage 2 remap and that makes a huge difference to the way this car drives. And the intercooler itself might not make a big enough difference for me to notice over the remap already. Um, and obviously it's not a bad thing to have a performance intercooler, it helps the performance of the car. Uh, but I'm just saying I might not be able to uh, wow you or, uh, um, you know, yeah, we'll see. But <laughs> let's, just, let's just get out and see what happens. So as I just said, we were out filming at the 101 just now and there's a uh, wedding reception going on in this building. It's like a, a restaurant you can hire out to my left and uh, you have to drive past it to get back to the farm basically. And uh, we were driving past in the 101 and the wedding photographer turns and starts taking pictures of us driving past and so Nissa and I were laughing at the fact that there is now a probably going to be a, a married couple out there who for the rest of their lives are going to have a photo album, a wedding photo album that includes two sweaty men driving past in a manky old Land Rover 101. <laughs> if it was my wedding photo album I'd probably be quite pleased but um, to two strangers who have little interest in Land Rovers and cars in general it's probably quite strange. We are about to head back onto the tarmac public road so let's see what this can do. Oh, it's 
flat to the floor. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.